Have you ever wondered, is the principle of survival of the fittest the only governing law of life? This question takes us into the heart of a profound debate, one that juxtaposes the cold Darwinian reality of evolution against the warmth of altruistic morality. Charles Darwin, in his musings, portrayed death and destruction as essential creators of life. From the war of nature, he wrote, from famine and death, the most exalted object which we are capable of conceiving, namely, the production of the higher animals, directly follows. This perspective, while revolutionary, has been criticized for its perceived anti-morality. Yet, there's another side to this coin, the concept of altruistic morality. Unlike Darwin's survival of the fittest, this principle suggests that self-sacrifice and cooperation are fundamental to life's existence and progression. Darwin's theory, while influential, might not be the ultimate explanation of life's progression. Let's delve into the impact of Darwin's views on historical figures and events. Charles Darwin, a name synonymous with the theory of evolution, espoused views that have left a profound and somewhat controversial mark on history. He suggested that life is a battlefield, where only the strongest survive and the weakest perish, a stark, unforgiving view of nature's workings. This idea of death as the creator resonated with figures such as Hitler, Marx, Lenin, Stalin, and Mao. Their interpretation of Darwin's views led them down a path of massive human suffering, with a shocking body count of 250 million. Under their rule, survival of the fittest wasn't just a biological theory, it was a harsh reality, a governing principle that justified atrocities. One general law, Darwin stated, leading to the advancement of all organic beings, namely, multiply, vary, let the strongest live and the weakest die. The influence of Darwin's views has been profound, but should we accept them without question? Now, what if we told you that life might actually be based on a principle of altruism? Imagine for a moment the world of metazoans, multi-celled organisms like us. We evolve at a pace that's almost snail-like when compared to bacteria and viruses. These tiny life forms can replicate in mere hours, allowing them to adapt incredibly fast. Yet despite our 20-year-long generations, we manage to resist infection and survive. If life was only about the survival of the fittest, wouldn't these fast-evolving organisms have outpaced us long ago? But wait, let's delve a bit deeper into our biological blueprint, our genes. You might have heard of the selfish gene concept, popularized by Richard Dawkins. It's the idea that genes are singularly focused on their own survival, leading to competition and survival of the fittest. But recent discoveries suggest that this concept might be oversimplified. In fact, the 2018 article titled, Theory Suggests That All Genes Affect Every Complex Trait, presents a fascinating revelation. Our genes are far from selfish. They exist in an intricate web of mutual interdependence and cooperation. From determining your height to your susceptibility to certain conditions, almost the entire genome may be involved. In other words, genes are not lone wolves, they're team players. Now let's consider another crucial aspect of life cellular behavior. If we were to observe the development of multicellular organisms, we'd quickly notice a process known as apoptosis, or programmed cell death. This process is vital during embryonic development, as it shapes our bodies and organs. It's a clear example of self-sacrifice at a cellular level for the greater good, a form of altruism that's fundamental to our existence. So, it seems that life is not just a game of survival, but a complex dance of cooperation and altruism. So, what does all this mean for us, and why is understanding altruistic morality important? Well, it's critical because it reframes our understanding of life and morality. It paints a picture of life not as a brutal Darwinian struggle, but as a complex web of interdependence and cooperation. Let's consider the concept of apoptosis, or programmed cell death. This isn't some random occurrence, it's a vital part of embryological development for all multicellular organisms. Certain cells willingly die off for the good of the organism as a whole. This self-sacrifice at the cellular level is a clear demonstration of altruistic morality in action. Without this altruistic behavior, multicellular life as we know it simply wouldn't exist. More than just a philosophical concept, altruistic morality is a fundamental aspect of life itself. It helps us understand that life is about cooperation and mutual aid, not just survival of the fittest. Altruistic morality, it seems, is not just a philosophical concept, but a fundamental aspect of life itself.